It's okay. It's okay. What's wrong, honey? Everything's gonna be okay. There's no need to cry. Hey. Hey, what's up? You started crying again. At the same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't know how to help you anymore. Are you absolutely sure it's not that? No. No, I, I keep telling you, it's not. I've had it unplugged for weeks now. I mean, I guess I can come over and help you figure it out. Are you free tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? You promise you'll actually come over this time? He's still your child too, you know. I swear to God, Lynn, if this is just an imaginary friend or something, I'm gonna lose it. What do you mean? Do you realize how young he is? I think that they'll be so, it'll be so overpopulated that there'll be wars. All the nuclear explosions and everything. So I just tend to today's chores and let the good Lord worry about tomorrow. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. Speed hundreds of telephone calls as well as television programs. Nothing but enlightening, to say the least. I learned a lot about myself, and I hope my colleagues in this room have learned just as much about me as well. I will never stand down for my base values, no matter how far up the ladder I go. While I may not be the most um, spoken type, I protect and serve my city with pride, and I'm grateful to be rewarded as such. Thank you all. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Good evening, officer. Uh, one of our students, Mark Heathcliff, uh, he's been absent for the past couple of days without any reason, no phone calls from parents, no doctor's excuse, and we don't have any apparent emergency contacts on file for him. If you could have someone pay a visit to, um, uh, the three... ...avenue and make sure everything's alright, it would be much appreciated. Oh, and if someone could try to get the contact info for whoever answers the door, that would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you, and have a nice night. Sheriff's Department, open up. Police, open the door. Oh. 
Jesus Christ. You do realize you just got promoted, right? You don't have to work on this bullshit case anymore. Listen, I I got a lead. Okay? It's got some evidence to review still. That's it. I'll believe it when I see it. See you later. Alright. Lock the door on the way out. to open the door. No. I am not going away.
Mr. Davis, I understand that you were hoping that I would be able to recover the contents of all of the tapes that you sent in along with your request note. I was only able to recover maybe about two minutes from one of them. I'll be copying my recording of it onto this one right after this. I, I mean, I hope this helps you with the rest of your investigation. If you need any more help, you can call me back or just send me another letter and I'll be waiting a response. Hello. Now, you may be thinking, who is this voice speaking to me through my television set? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Stanley. It is very nice to meet you. Consider me a friend, because I might consider you one too. I like having friends. How many friends do you have? That's great. Would you like to know a secret of mine? I can make friends appear out of thin air. What was that? You want to know how? Well, I can tell you, but you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. Great. First, we must consider what makes up a good friend. What do they sound like? What do they look like? What colored eyes do they have? Always remember the most important rule. If there is a new friend that lives in your head, it is best to it is best to it is best. They're just as scared as you are. Okay. Have a friend in mind? Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Now just close your eyes and think really hard about your new friend. Can you keep an even bigger secret? I think it worked. Your new friend is somewhere in your house. Now it's up to you to go and find them. One, what's your emergency? Please, you gotta help me. There's someone in my house. I don't know what to do. I don't even know who they got inside. I've had my doors and windows locked for mine. All right, all right, just, just calm down, okay? We'll get this figured out. Just need to stay quiet. Are you hiding? Yes. Does this person have a weapon? I don't know. I can't tell. Is this person threatening you or your family? No, he just... Stairs in the corner. He's not taking anything. He's just standing there. I think my wife is hurt. I don't know what to do. It's going to be fine. You seem to calm down. I want to look at his face again. Okay. All right. Um, does this man resemble anyone you know by chance? No. What? I have never seen anyone in my life that looks anything like him. It can't be right. That doesn't make any sense. What? I'm sending over one of our officers. Just don't hang up, okay? I just got a 10:15. I'm heading over to the place now. Damn it. Okay. Um. What? Did you get a similar call? I uh, believe we got a home intruder. I apologize for the silence, sir. What's your address? Sir? Thatcher? I'm gonna need some backup here. What are you talking about? Where's the others? The officer that was already checking out the place just pussied out. Jesus. Okay. Um. 
Bruce, what's the address? See anything? Negative. Yeah. You hear that, right? Just stay behind me, okay? No, we but we don't because everyone else fucking left. <sighs> Sorry. Got ten fifty six. Someone's fucking up the camera. Shit. Camera's down, Weaver. Weaver. Hello? Hello? Identify yourself. Identify yourself. This is a police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Look. What do you want? Still in there, I'm gonna find help, okay? Just meet me at the station. Ten seventy eight requesting backup. Ten seventy eight requesting backup. Ten eighteen requesting assistance from available Bythorn units. This is an unauthorized use of Earth's kernel. Identify yourself. Lieutenant Thatcher Davis, MCPD. 
1018, requesting assistance from available worksheet units. Thank you. 